they're not going to judge you as much. So it's almost like you're starting off with a clean slate. Hey, hello, my name is Augustus and welcome to my channel. I learned about social barriers and norms to help people become their true self in life. Yay. So if you like my videos, please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and you'll see more of this face. Yes. Uh, so today we're going to talk, talk about how to uh, talk to strangers as an introvert. To be honest, when before I started this whole social journey, it was very much scary to talk to anyone. Because uh, everyone was like probably going to judge me for what I say and I kind of stutter or speak too softly and not knowing what to say. There was so many things that I was thinking about in terms of talking with anyone. But now, actually, having gone through uh, learning this, these whole things, I find that talking to strangers are actually slightly easier. So I'm going to share with you some of my reasons why. And I'll encourage you to be able to be normal socially and to be able to have a nice, enjoyable life where you don't have to worry about being anxious and be helping you see the other side of this fear so that you'll be getting over it quicker. Personally, I feel like talking to strangers is a little easier because in general, it really feels like uh, they don't know that much about you. So if they don't know that much about you, they're not going to judge you as much. So it's almost like you're starting off with a clean slate. Yes, can you mess up? Sure. But the thing is, you go up there and you talk to this person, you might never talk to this person again. So it's almost like there's less pressure because the results don't really matter. You, you can kind of want to say? So like that encourages, encourages me to try a little more. So it's like, if I mess up, I mess up. So what? It's a mistake. And when I gain enough practice, then I can uh, talk to other people on a little better. And that's good. Now to get into the tips, the first one I have for you is start with people that are more like less intimidating. For me, when I was going out and I was looking at people, some people that are like really nicely dressed and I don't know, for some weird reason before, I would just find them intimidating. It's like, oh well, shoot, this person must be like, I don't know, uh, popular or like uh, high status or something. And something about it, it was intimidating. But as you'll learn later on, like they're just people and you can talk to them normally and you'll be fine. But when you're just starting out, those things can be really intimidating. So you want to start off with people that are easier to approach, kind of like a, let's say like a elder, like a friendly elder, the one that's smiling and talk to those people. And another one can be people that are more just easygoing. They're laughing a lot. They, they have a really nice positive energy around them. Then it seems like they're just sound to talk to anyone. So start with, those type of people that are really easy to approach and they don't seem like there's a lot of barriers in terms of why they would turn you down when they're talking to you. So start with them. The second tip I have is go for one-on-ones. If you're trying to start and trying to join a group of two or three people that are already talking, it's harder. So if you can, Find someone that's more so by themselves, just chilling and try to make a conversation. And if they don't want to, no problem. Just go on ahead. But if they do, then you get a chance for a more, I guess, less uh, challenging type conversations. Because I like one-on-ones because you don't really have to like battle for when to speak. Like it's either him or it's you. So it's really about um, making it easier for yourself, especially if you're starting out talking to someone you have no idea who this person is. 
Number three is keep things light and short. Because you'll know this person, talk on light topics, and when you feel like it's a good amount and you want to exit out, just keep it short and just bounce. Because sometimes you can talk for a long time, but I find that for introverts, you talking to new people usually requires a lot more energy and you're putting out a lot more effort and you get tired quicker. So when that time hits and just be like, you know what, it was really nice talking to you. I got something to do. Uh, we'll talk next time and then just, just head out. So make, keep it short. So the last tip that I have for you is relax and use this as a test run because you might not see this person again this person isn't judging you, so feel free to be yourself. If you make mistakes, make mistakes. So what? Use this time as practice. And with every practice, you become better, more confident socially, and that you'll be able to achieve a life where it's just normal to talk to people. Small talks are easy, and you'll be able to create friendships that are more longer lasting then I'm pretty sure that's what we're all aiming for. And now the question I have for you today is, what do you do to calm yourself down when you are nervous? Yeah, this is a tough one. For me, I try different things over time, and one of the things I really like to do is focus on breathing, because uh, it's one of the things you have with you all the time, and you kind of regulate your breathing, so that's a little easier to kind of calm yourself down through your breath but yeah that is it stay strong stay healthy keep on going and i will talk to you soon take care always go for one-on-ones because jurors are a little easier because in general the you know i notice i can't say introvert that well introvert 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 okay introvert. Uh, 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 okay